Or are you still watching Waze? World Mental Health Day. Marked on the 10th of October every year provides an opportunity to draw attention to Africa's large and growing burden of mental health condition with children and adolescents worst impacted. You know, this day, every day I think I was saying to someone living in Nigeria really is extreme sport. So I was at Ogun State, what's aside yesterday, and we were supposed to come back to Lagos, right? Mm -hmm. We then decided, you know what, let's check the map. And the map on Lagos Ibadan Expressway was showing a time, um, sorry, a delay of yeah. two hours, 50 minutes. And normally on that road, if, it give, if Google gives you two hours, 50 Dana minutes, multiply plus. by two. <laughs> So that would have been roughly a six-hour standstill yeah. traffic. So we, did, we then decided to take through Ekpe. We got into Ekpe, like, I mean, it was really smooth mm -hmm. until when we got to a particular spot, right? Bad road. So I'm just saying that everything in this country attacks your mental health, in long and short of the conversation That's I'm trying to have. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you would think Nigeria is, I think, top three, if I'm not mistaken, the top three largest world deposit of what's it called bitumen and yet we have j potholes like nigeria has no business having bad roads with the kind of resource that we have, have in terms of reason for mm -hmm. bitumen that we have in this continent or in this, in this country, country right yeah. so i'm just thinking like when our leaders are busy fighting and throwing up all their propaganda do they understand the impact because now we do not have you can count a few normal people in this country because if the economy is not biting you, the infrastructure is biting you, if infrastructure is not biting you, like dealing with your fellow human, human being, being is hitting mm -hmm. you. So everything is actually geared towards attacking our mental health. And that's why when you see any little trigger, you see people lashing out. The other day I was seeing videos of somebody breaking bottles on somebody's head and all of that. All those things are just expression of how our mental state have degenerated to. So while we are there looking all nice, none of most of us are not normal again. We need to really, really no, we need to pay attention yeah. to I, our I, mental I can health. Say that I'm one of the few people in Nigeria that is I still You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Wait until I bring a trigger. And, <laughs> and then we will not test push. it. Yeah, you know, see the truth is I hear you Uwa, and I totally understand you. You know up until recently, nobody was really talking about mental health and how, you know, it impacted or, you know, everybody and everything around us. So I would just say that, yes, as usual, we say that Nigerians are very strong people. Nigerians are very happy people. But I understand that when they are faced with something that actually squeezes them, they lash out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think they lash out everywhere, too. I think everybody's dealing with one thing or the other. So, yes, we have I issues here. I think our own here. challenge is unique in this country. <laughs> That's what you think. Go to another country, you'll see that their own issues are even more than this. Have you not heard that thing? They say that when you see other people's problems, mm. you will carry That's your own back and start going. So, I think that we're trying. We're going to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me start with you, Chinelo. What did you find for us in the news? Ah, very interesting. I like your story. Mm. <laughs> I'm a Davido stana, so please. Really? Yeah, so the news about Chairman and Davido being back together got me mm, pretty excited. And Davido says they're getting married in 2023. I really hope that this time they actually get married. But then, I mean, he has assured her again. Pastor Toby Adigwega has also assured her that she's, she's the, the real wife. He did not just say, he said, our real wife. wife. Mm. So, yeah, that's what I found. Yeah, did you yeah. read the chat? Um, like where all these um, stories were posted on different um, platforms. Did you read the chat room? No. Uh, you would no, have really had a good laugh. <laughs> Somebody actually no, said, why 2023? What happens between so, October and, and December? December. Yeah, you know the kind of person you are. You can change you your mind. You can change your mind. Exactly. No, I think so. David is here. He's here for real this time. I mean, he posted something on Instagram and then his caption was, what's that thing? Like, Oh, beam no door, something like the one of my heart or the, the one, one in my heart. My heart and the one that holds my heart. I'm so, like, mm, okay. Let me attempt <laughs> to try. Let me, yes, let me okay. attempt to see my mind about this story. Okay. On one hand, I'm really excited and happy for them. Hmm. But on another hand, having lived in a marriage for 16 years, I would advise anybody that cares to listen, what you cannot stomach 
for a very long time. Thank you. Do not go into it with your eyes open. Because it's one thing for it to be like a one-off. It's mm. another thing for it to be a continuum. Mm. And it's not like this person has actually not, he has revealed himself to you. Um, would you be comfortable mm. living that kind of life? Because it's going to happen more. And, and guess what? What happens with this kind of marriages is that it, it emboldens him. He mm -hmm. continues to do it. So it's not like he's going to say, oh, no, I think because I'm hurting I'm my wife. Now. I'm going to read. No. What it does is your acceptance of it mm. will just continue to embolden his, his behavior. So my question to Chioma, would you be willing to take more babies in, more ladies in, and all of those into your relationship? If the answer is yes. No, that you can accept it. But By all means. We, we've seen some other people say, oh, I promise I won't do this again. And next thing we hear, another girl is pregnant <laughs> for them. So, so uh -huh. me, I don't talk my own, Sha. Because what do you not feel? <laughs> what do you not feel? cannot no. smell them. Yes. Yes. cannot chew. Because guess yeah. what? Don't it is no. marriage, it's for better or worse. Sure. It is for the long haul. Mm -hmm. So it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And in that marathon, there will be a continuous, steady back-to-back can you take it? If you cannot take it, don't use it uh, because you... But, you know, again, so that is one hand. I've not thinking for a second. <laughs> On the other hand, I was speaking to... Okay, it was Elsie when we were driving to what I said. I was saying that, really, but on a serious note, she's been with a Davido. Who else can match up? You know, honestly, her options are limited. Very limited. Because, really, who else can really... No, don't you know, say that to No, me. wait. I, I'm not no, saying... Don't listen. Say See Elon Musk. No, we they talk. We have facts now Let's to back it up. Elon okay. Musk when, married. When you say Elon Musk wife, I be that divorced. Married a teacher. Married it. What happened eventually? You know there is a standard. No, I don't think that is okay. what it is. So if you say there's a standard, so are we talking about money here? It's no money. It's it beyond it's good money. Life. It's not even good life. It's beyond money. So there is there's a presence that a individual commands. It's not about money. Money is money is the list of it. There is a presence that a Davido commands. There's a presence that he has, right? Very few people have it, even within the industry. So, so it's not even about yes, finding so another superstar. Yes, talking yes, about so his aura now. His aura, yes, thank you. He wants to stay in the industry. But mm. if not, there are other people that are doing very well in their own different, you know, sectors and fields. And they command a lot. You just, there are people there who are making sense. Okay. <laughs> Honestly. So. My own be say, I've said my own. I will not give you yes or no. <laughs> Funny no, it story. on you. Carry it's your, your choice. To go. <laughs> yes, so. Importation of used clothes is fueling the spread of monkeypox. So oh, wow. say at customs. So it says used clothes, so Krika, what we know as a Krika, is commercially, um, commercial quantity falls under absolute prohibition. So Customs Area Controller, CAC of Federal Operations Unit, FOU, Zone A, Nigerian Customs Services, Hussein Ejubuni has warned against the importation of used clothes, especially with the outbreak of monkeypox in the country. So speaking at the press briefing in Lagos, the customs boss explained that the world is wary of monkeypox, whose mode of transmission includes clothing. So Ejubuni also pointed out that smuggling of used clothes has economic and um, health implications on Nigerians. He also noted that serious health implications associated with the use of such clothing exposes um, the users to skin diseases like scabies as well as fungal diseases which can be transmitted by wearing unwashed second-hand clothes. Um, yeah, the government in its wisdom wants the local textile industry to enjoy protection and create more jobs for Nigerians from the cotton farms through the textile and garment factories to our markets. So according to a World Health Organization fact sheet, monkeypox is transmitted to humans through close contact with an infected person or animal or with material contaminated with the virus. Mm. So um, I, when I saw this, I looked at it on different levels. For one, this is a business. Mm. So when you say that you're banning this, remember in recent time, the government has come up with different things. They want to ban this, they want to mm. ban this. I'm not saying that this is not good. At, at least the WHO has said that this actually can contribute to the spread of monkeypox. So in my opinion, it's okay if it's not good for humans. But at the same time, if you go to Yaba, 
and other places i'm sure you will see that so many 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 Lagosians survived on selling of okrika so let me explain Mm -hmm. Let me attempt to explain. Why am I attempting to explain? No, <laughs> today. Yeah. I lived all my life in the north, right? This is the season from October when the weather starts to change and it gets cold. Joss, Kaduna, Kano, up north, all parts of the north is extremely cold. We survive and we thrive because there is okrika. Yeah. You know, because True. the winter jackets, jackets yeah. the head warmers, mm. the thick stockings, thick, uh, what's it called, thermal wares oh, and all yeah. of that. They no, all, imported. they are all imported as okrika. So we actually, in this is the season that you will see oh. parents going to, to the market, market to, to go buy. and shop those yeah. jackets, wow. you know, the gloves. Because, I mean, it gets really cold. You have to wear gloves first thing in the morning. You have to wear all the things. And we don't produce those kind of those clothing nothing. in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nothing. Everything mm. is imported. So, it is one hand for you to say that this thing is fueling it. But you understand the, the impact. impact it will have on the lives of people. Thank you. In Joss, for instance, when, when we used to visit my... Because my older sister lived in Joss for over 20 years. But they've moved now out of Joss. You have to double your stockings. You have to wear like four stockings so you wear the the the, the, the turtleneck mm -hmm. the tama jacket you wear everything okay. just is even on another level kano is extremely cold as well so if you go to all parts of the north this is the time that they start to release bail mm -hmm. you know when i was growing up we used to buy even up until underwears like the original bras, bras. and all of that mm -hmm. yeah, you know yeah. but the only thing is that when my mom gets yeah. home we will Jewish, bleach it and, then and wash, put everything. You know? We couldn't even get the original white shirt for our school uniform. We had to but because the, there's no original. Like, go and check. The, the, it's now all yeah. these the French toast and all those that they They're bring into the country for our children. Making. Then there was nothing like that. So yeah. all our white shirts that we would wear for school uniform, mm -hmm. our inner vests, everything all those things were all from the you know, or Krika bill. How many people can afford? Even if you say okay, Primark, how much is ten pound? You know, Tell me about it. Exactly. You understand? So, so it's crazy it, now. I like the part because my, my father in law, God bless his soul, was a cotton farmer, right? He did a lot of cotton and all. The business is dying. It's not like these farms still do not exist. But the business is dying, right? So if you are serious about, you want to say something, right? I was going to throw a joke. <laughs> you know, if you are serious <laughs> about, no, so you know, <laughs> you know we say we're planting. Yeah, our uh, incoming, or, well, present to be or present that might be, has said we should go back to farming. You know, so, so the, 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 the know thing is, sure. so if you want to really solve a problem, it's not enough. For, I, what I, where I'm driving at is that let's not play lip service, right? There are opportunities here. That's why you continue to see used clothes coming to this country. Yeah. So what is the government doing to argument that? How do they start to produce this clothing that people <laughs> need so country. desperately? That they have to at import. a price that is affordable, that can, those that can match compete. up this, yes, match that, up this occurrence. Another thing, Uwa, why is it that any time our government sees that there's a problem, they just shut everything down? Mm. Why don't you think, trying to around think around it? it? Okay, so find so how solution. do we find solution? Mm -hmm. What if they bring this Okrika clothing in and we help them to process it in a way that is no longer harmful? Let them not even process. You know, Let them just wake up yes, all our... No, no. our, our yeah, our, but since they don't want to wake them up, Uwa, be cool. Because the opportunities are there. Do you understand? But, well... We are still in that place where we are still So while we are discussing government. important things, <laughs> Wiki and other governors are, were absent from Atiku's um, campaign when, as he commenced the campaign. So the presidential can, um, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Al-Haji Atiku Abubakar on Monday, commenced his presidential campaign in Uyo, Akwaibom State, with a promise to rescue Nigeria from insecurity and bad economy and to unite the north and southern part of the country. Um, this was as five PDP governors were absent at the commencement of the campaign, which held at the nest of Champion International Stadium, Uyo, the, capi the state capital. Now, the PDP governors that failed to turn up at the rally were Yisong Wike, River State, Benue State Governor, I think that's the Ayah Belo, Governor um, Autumn, uh, Okay, no, no. So that's uh, Benue is Benway. autumn, right? Yeah, yeah. Or your state is Mshei Makinde, Abia state is Ikpiazu, Enugu state is um, Ifai, Oguain. So the reason I've taken this story, 
there are what's your color is it beds how do they say that in whispers in the, <laughs> in the that you know uh <laughs> it seems like um uh, wiki is trying to move it to the, the labor, labor party, party you know well, to yes, give denied. his support but he's denied it but i'm saying that for him to be really absent, absent is at sending the PDP, a is sending a very strong message so mm -hmm. the interesting thing about the politics is that people are beginning to come out we're seeing a lot of our celebrities everybody declare Everybody's... which camp they belong and all of that my own is that let us be smart i will not openly endorse any candidate but what i will do is to just tell you what good governance should yeah. look like yeah. That's my job, and I'll continue to harp on it. So it is left for you to choose who you think will deliver good I, governance. I, I like that too. Well, the only mm. thing is that sometimes there's a reason why we have teachers because students wouldn't even know how to answer a question, even if you give them all the options. Absolutely. So sometimes you just have to tell them, see the good one. <laughs> <laughs> well, pick it. I will leave that to you. <laughs> all right, so we'll take a break now. We want to discuss impact investment and um, how it's going to help with nation building. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 